Hello, this is Max with Avon Website Pro, and today we're going to learn how to create a new table in a database using PHP. Okay, so we want to make sure that you've already created the database and granted privileges to the database and created a config file. If you have not done those things, please click on one of those links to make sure those are taken care of. Okay, so now if you could just imagine in your head uh, a, a database, this first one has ID, this next one's called description, this next one's timestamp, and underneath that we'll be adding values to those things, just like in a database. So <clears throat> we want to know how to create this ID, description, timestamps to set it up so we can start putting values in it. And that's what creating a new table uh, in a MySQL database is all about. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this little code here, all right, and hit Control A, copy the whole thing. I'm going to bring up my Notepad plus plus. In this la in the last tutorial, I showed people how to make a config file. Well, in this, we are going to create another file, and we're going to call it uh, Table Create, or something like that. Dot PHP. All right, doesn't really matter what you name it. Okay, so we're going to open up our table create, and we're going to paste that in there. First of all, let me show you the database that we're working with here, this DJWH. Notice there are no tables created in there yet. If we look at the structure, now we could obviously create tables here, but if you want to do it with PHP, this is the way to do it. So uh, we're including our config file. That's important. I showed you how to make a config file in the previous one and here's our config file so you notice it's in the same folder it's in the max folder so we're going to include that and then we're going to have make a new make a connection to our host so we can use the information now these variables have to match the variables in the config file username password host database name uh, username password host data db name make sure we got that right yeah we do okay and so we're going to create a table called about and in this table we're going to have an ID integer it's going to be our primary key and it's going to auto increment that means each time something's inserted that's going to go up one number start with one two three four okay the next table that we're going to insert is description we have a, a variable character, 250 characters, and we're going to make sure that this is not null. all. There has to be something entered in it. And then we're just going to have another table called uh, reg underscore date, and that's just going to be a timestamp. Okay? And so we're going to hit save. We're going to save this file. It'll automatically upload it to the server. And let me give you a visualization of what we are creating here, right here, that I started at the beginning of the tutorial. Now what we want to do is we want to go load this file in our browser and it should create the tables for us. So let's go to djwh.com slash max. Okay, this is the file path. This is important. And then we want table hyphen create dot php. Now it says table about created successfully because we asked the the PHP to echo it out right here table created successfully so now we can actually go to our database refresh it and let's just click ignore all here and there's our table about it's created successfully okay so it's all ready to rock and roll there's our structure our, our table about is created and we're ready to rock and roll if we click on this table about click ignore all, ignore all because HostGator sucks. Click on Structure. You can see that we have ID, Description, and Reg underscore Date. Okay? So we have these three tables that we can insert information in. Okay? Right now we don't have any information in there. But I'm going to show you how to do that in future tutorials. But that's how you create a database with PHP. This is Max with AIM Website Pro. I hope to some, help somebody out.